Hi there. In the last video, we started to look at creating GUI or graphical user interfaces using Swing for Java. In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can then make all of those buttons and components work and actually function for our program using event handling. Event driven programming is the first thing that we need to understand to get this to work. GUI components cause events to occur when, for instance, a mouse is clicked or a key is pressed. So perhaps in a form that you might have used in the past on the computer, if you enter in a value and you hit the return key on the keyboard, something might happen. Or if you click on a button using your mouse, something might happen. So events can be handled, causing the program to respond and driving execution through events. So it makes an event driven program. Two approaches to event handling are the read evaluation loop, the client written loop, or notification based or callbacks. Okay, read evaluation, for instance, would be if we had an example where we wanted to see if an event happened would had happened, and we created a loop to say check if the event happened, check if the event happened, check if the event happened. Whereas notification based is that when the event happens, we're notified. So I suppose it's the difference between telling somebody could they please let you know when they've arrived or constantly checking the front door to see if they're there. Swing, for instance, in this particular example, uses the callback approach. So when something happens, we're notified. Every time the user types a character or a key event or pushes a mouse button, which would be a mouse event, an event occurs. Any object can be notified of the event if we implement the appropriate interface and it must be registered as an event listener on the appropriate event source. Swing components communica communicate by firing and handling events. So the component fires the event and then handles what that event happens to be.